Hello mga kababayan, I'm Mini Badar, your OFW vlogger, and welcome to my channel. Alright, so um, I hope everyone is okay and um, today we will be discussing about working visa and um, a little bit about commercial visa or business visa. Okay, and ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga sample requirements na sample requirements or sample, sample documents na kailangan ninyo when you are processing your visa. Okay, but I think I'm missing, I'm missing something on uh, my uh, materials today. <laughs> Ayan. But anyway, I hope every, every, everybody is okay. And sa lahat ng mga nagme-message sa akin, sa lahat ng mga nakaka-appreciate ng video ko, nitong vlog ko, thank you very much and I hope you will keep supporting me. I hope you will stay connected. And I hope also na i-share nyo ang video na to so that everybody will, you know, of course, like what I've, what I've keep tell, kept telling is ma-share yung information na ito regarding about Russia. Okay, so, anyway, um, I hope I'm not talking very fast, alright? But, um, I wanna, I wanna make this video very sh quick and short, okay? But, um, point taken, you know? Something like that. Alright, so sa mga lahat ng nagpa-process ng, um, um, working visa sa Pilipinas, okay? Sa Pilipinas, hindi sa ibang, ibang bansa, but sa Pilipinas, okay? Um, First that you have to do is um uh wait for your invitation okay na manggagaling dito and uh yung contract ninyo na naka-red ribbon na okay so um yung nanghihintay ninyo dalawa invitation number one, and second yung contract ninyo na naka-red ribbon Okay, speaking of um, invitation, um, I just want to inform you, nakalimutan, naka, lagi ko siya nakakalimutang banggitin, alright? Na, um, be careful with your invitation. Please check it thoroughly. Check it very carefully kasi pwedeng ma-fake ang invitation. Some, some Filipinos here were already scammed because of fake invitation. Okay, they thought it's original, they thought it's authentic, but when they submitted it to the embassy, it was actually fake. Alright, so please be careful mga kababayan, alright? Um, that's why I'm doing this vlog for you to be very aware of it, alright? So first invitation. Second is the contract. Well, my contract is already expired. Okay, this was 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 2016. Alright, so itong contract ko is nanggaling here. Pinrasa siya ng Russian agent ko. Okay, by the way, here in Russia, merong may process ng, may, may, merong two popular Russian agents na nagpa-process ng, you know, ng invitation and contract para sa mga Filipino workers. Um, one is Natalia Good and one is Natalia Bad. Alright, so nang nag-process ng visa ko is si Natalia Good. Natalia Good, uh, Filipinos call her Natalia Good because, well, she does the, she does the process, um, accordingly, okay? So, just like me, she processed my, uh, my, my papers and documents accordingly. And, uh, those, of course, it's not, it's not really perfect. Hindi siya ganun, um, what kari ka perfect na pag process may mga konting mintis naman especially for um spellings okay ganyan um mga errors sa papers ganyan kasi nga yung 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 alphabet nila is hindi naman english they have their own they have their own alphabet all right um and the natalia bad well i i've never met her all right but you know given the name natalia bad i think you know what it means all right so yes so this one is the example of the contract okay so naka red ribbon na siya meron na siyang pirma okay from the uh, third secretary and vice consul na nakalagay dito okay and and this at sa contract na ito it's written in english and in russian Okay, um, nakala, ma Russian kasi, um, uh, kasi para mabasa nung, um, Russian consul dun sa Russian embassy sa Pilipinas. Okay, nakastate dito yung, um, yung pangalan ng agency ninyo, ng Russian, ng Russian agency, or yung agency ninyo na D, 
dito. Okay? Yung address, yung number, yung complete details ninyo, um, yung work ninyo, magkano yung salary ninyo, yung duration ng stay ninyo, and all. So, please, once you receive this, please read it. Okay? Basahin ninyo siyang maigi. And I suggest na gumawa kayo ng copy ninyo. Make a photocopy of it pa para uh, you know for 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 security purposes lang i think you know naman diba always make um a photocopy of your documents before submitting it to the agency okay but okay on my case um yung agent ko na si Natalia is is na is um sinend niya ito directly sa akin hindi niya ito sinend directly sa agency ko which is the 10th story if you watch my last video all right but um, I think uh, it's much better if your Russian agent will actually submit it to your directly to your agent, hindi na sa inyo. Kasi um, on my on my part, medyo nagkaroon ng problema. Parang nagkaroon ng issue between me and the agency in the Philippines. Parang kinwestiyon ako why um why the Russian agent Natalia submitted sent it to me instead of sending it to their agency. Ganyan. So medyo naging questionable yan. All right. Well, well. I understand on that part kasi nga naman it's 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 a transaction or it's a talk between the 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 Philippine agency and the Russian agent okay so yan so please um again um paki basang maigi and then ka-attach dito sa contract na, na, na ito yung Xerox copy ninyo ng um ng Xerox copy na inyong passport and um Xerox copy nung nag-invite sa inyo na agent. Ayan. So, nakalagay siya. Tapos, ang Xerox copy ng inyong um, invitation. Nakalagay din siya dyan. And, of course, um, um, invitation entry. Nakalagay dito. So, um, again, another tip. Basahin ninyo itong maigi. Um, try to memorize the name of your agent. Kung Russian siya. Tsaka yung... Um, uh, yung pangalan ng agency ng Russian agent ninyo. Kasi, pwede siyang itanong sa inyo dur uh, during um, interview sa Russian embassy. So, make sure na, na alam ninyo kung ano yung naka-state sa contract ninyo. Para kapag tinanong kayo, alam na ninyo yung isasagot nyo. Hindi yung parang, parang nabobo kayo, ganun, parang Parang hindi nyo alam ko na yung isasagot ninyo. So, please review. Kasi ako, binasa ko itong maigi. And talagang sinaulo kong maigi yung pangalan at saka yung address ng agent ko. Ayan. So, please. Ayan. Okay? Um, Alright. So, yun. Contract. Okay? So, one invitation and two is yung contract na manggagaling dito na isesend either sa inyo or directly sa agent, agency ninyo. Okay? This is for working visa, ha? Working visa ito. Hindi ito commercial visa. Okay? So, yun. And, um, nakastake pala dun sa invitation ninyo, yung type ng invitation ninyo. If it's, um, working visa, <coughs> tourist visa, tour, uh, uh, sorry, um, uh, working invitation or tourist invitation or whatsoever nakalagay ang purpose doon. And again, review nyo yung nasa invitation ninyo kung ta tama, kung correct spelling ba siya ng, ng name ninyo, kung tama ba yung date of birth. I-check nyo siyang maigi kasi kung hindi, uh, pag hindi nyo siya i-check, tapos uh, hindi nag-match doon mismo sa passport ninyo, malaking problema yan. Okay? Well, one, one letter is will cause a very big problem for you. Okay? Alright, so then, uh, while processing, okay, so pinaprocess na ninyo yung papers ninyo, ganyan, sa inyong agency. Alright? So, and then, um, kukuha kayo ng TESDA. Okay? I think, um, alam nyo which is TESDA. Um, para dun sa, uh, uh, pa, ang usual work dito for women is nanny, house helper, ganyan, cleaner, uh, cook, ganyan, um, taga-plancha, ganyan, or tutor, ganyan, I mean, ganon, ganon yung mga usual work dito para sa mga babae. So, for household services, ang kukunin ninyong, ang kukunin ninyo sa test that is an um, NC2 or National Certificate. Ayan siya. Okay? Example, expired na to ha? Okay? Expired na tong akin. So, 
Ah, sorry, hindi siya expired. Valid pala yung, valid pala to ay April 2021. Ano ba yan? Sorry, mali-mali ako. Ayan, so kinuha ko siya ng 2016, tapos valid pa tong certificate ko hanggang April 20 ng 2021. Okay? So, yung, um, yung, um, test the training center ninyo ay depende sa ibibigay ng agency ninyo. Okay? So, hindi yung basa pupunta lang kayo sa isang training center at kuku at doon kayo mag uh, kukuha ng NC2. Hindi po siya ganon. Meron pong i-refer sa inyo ang agency ninyo at doon po kayo mag-training. Okay? So para uh, just to give you an idea about NC2 um para dito sa Russia, I, I think um kailangan niyo aralin yung Russian table setting. Actually hindi naman siya necessary pero alam nyo na, sa Pilipinas, may konting pag-i-inert. Hindi <laughs> naman. Pero, yun kasi, kailangan nyo lang aralin yung uh, Russia table setting. Ayan. And, ano pa ba? Yung tamang paglinis, ganyan. Yung pagplansya, yung beds, mga ganon. Um, ako kasi, one day lang ako nag-training. So, medyo aanga-anga ako dun sa training ko. Samantara yung mga kasabayan ko, eh, parang mga 4 days or 7 days na silang nagka-training. Ganyan. So, medyo tanga-tanga, pero naka, nakapasa naman ako <laughs> sa awa ng Diyos. Ayan. Actually, for formality na lang to eh, yung ganito. Parang formality na lang siya kasi pagdating mo nga naman sa, sa, sa naiya, iti-check nila yung mga documents mo. Okay? So, yan. Next is yung PIDOS. Actually, pwede, siguro kung may oras kayo, pwede nyo pagsabayin yung PIDOS kasi ang alam ko, one day lang naman yung PIDOS. Diba? One day mo lang kukunin. So, formality na lang din naman yung PIDOS. I think, dun sa mga ex-abroad, alam nyo na kung ano yung PIDOS at kung anong gagawin sa PIDOS. Alright? So, after nyan, kapag nakuha nyo na lahat yung mga, kapag nakuha nyo na yung PIDOS certificate ninyo, kapag nakuha nyo na yung NC2 certificate ninyo, that's the time kayo mag-process ng ibang requirements ninyo. Um, isunod nyo yung pagkuha ng requirements ninyo ng NBI at ng police clearance. Okay? At nung um, HIV. Okay? Yun. Yun ang kunin ninyo. So, kasi nga, dun sa last video ko, nabanggit ko na one month lang yung uh, one month lang yung duration ng documents ninyo. So, kapag naglapse siya ng one month na hindi na siya tatanggapin sa Russian Embassy. Okay? So, kukuha na naman kayo ng panibago. Another PIDOS na naman. Another NC2 na naman. Another NBI. Another police uh, clearance na naman. Another HIV na naman. Actually, yung friend ko, dalawang beses yung tinuro, dalawang beses siya nagpakuha ng HIV kasi mali yung pinunod puntahan yung ospital, okay? So, again, um, yung HIV na pwede nyong puntahan is ako, in Marcelino, nagpa-HIV test. Um, that's 1,000 pesos. Or, pwede kayo magpunta sa Makati Med. At para makasigurado kayo, um, i-check ninyo sa Russian Embassy sa Makati. Okay? Ask nyo doon si Manong Guard na very accommodating. Ayan. Okay? So, I think alam nyo na yung um, alam nyo na yung NBI, tsaka yung police clearance, okay? Kapag may hit kayo, mga 1 weeks or 2 weeks yan, kagaya ko, may hit ako. Hindi ko alam kung bakit, siguro nakapatay ako, eh, joke lang. Ayan. So, alright. So, kapag nakuha nyo na yung mga documents ninyo, alright? Then, um, next na gagawin ninyo uh, is pumunta kayo sa website kung saan, um, website kung saan pwede, kailangan yung fill upan uh, para makakuha kayo ng appointment sa Russian Embassy. Okay? Merong website na ibibigay sa inyo. Nakalimutan ko na kung ano yun siya. Uh, anyway, hanapin ko para malagay ko sa description box. Alright? So, doon sa website ng, uh, na, sa website na yun, fill upan ninyo yung mga details na kailangan para makapag-apply kayo ng visa. Okay? So, um, while uh, while um, filling it up um, I suggest na i-check nyo yung i-check nyo yung contract ninyo para sigurado ko na yung ilalagay ninyo doon sa kung ano yung itatype ninyo doon okay? hindi yung basa-basa na kapag nakompleto nyo na yung documents ninyo pupunta na na kayo ng Russian Embassy hindi po ganoon meron pa po kayong fill up pan online sa website I think that's visa dot kdmid.ru I'm not sure pero um Ido-double check ko siya para sigurado. And I think yung agency ninyo is alam yun. Okay? Ayan. So, uh, uh, yan. 
So, yun, kapag okay na siya, kapag kapag na-fill up niyo na 'yung mga dapat fill up dun sa 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 website na 'yon na, sin, na sinabi ko. Okay. Um next is for appointment na uh, Next is 'yung uh, visa invite, uh, visa interview na. Okay, another pala na kailangan niyo is 'yung insurance. Okay. So, ang, ang, ang tinatanggap lang na insurance company sa Russian Embassy is yung Fortune Life. Okay, ito siya. Okay? So, kilala ko dun si, si ating nagbibigay nito. Ayan. So, ito siya. Charter Ping An Insurance Corporation. Ayan siya. Okay, I hope na nakikita niyo. Ito yung sample niya. <clears throat> Um, kailangan ito sa sa pagpasa niyo ng requirement for visa. Okay? Ayan. So, kapag nag-gather na, na niyo siya, then you are ready for your visa interview. Okay? <clears throat> Alright. Um, and then, uh, pagdating niyo doon sa Russian Embassy, meron doon si Manong Guard na madaldal. <laughs> Pero mabait and very friendly. Okay, if If I were you, ipa-arrange nyo sa ipa-arrange nyo sa kanya yung documents niyo kasi uh, ayaw minsan ng konsul na uh, pa, ano kasi she by order kasi she ganon by order yung pag-check niya ng niya ng papers niyo parang parang um, invitation and then uh, contract and then siguro um, HIV test parang ganon by order kasi she hindi yung Patong-patong lang, hindi ganun. So, if I were you, ipa-arrange yun siya, ipa-arrange yun dun kay Manong Guard. Alright? Tap, uh, pakiusapan niya na iayusin niya. Ganun. Tapos, i-stapler niya yun. Ayan. So, ayun. So, if okay na kayo, then you're ready for the visa interview. Okay? And, um, I don't know how much the fee, pero depende kasi yan sa sa processing ninyo. Uh, merong one week, two weeks, parang ganun, parang more than 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, parang ganun. Hindi ko alam, hindi ko na maalala masyado. Ayan. Um, kasi 2016 pa ako last na nag, na nag process ng, uh, na, mag, ano, ng visa ko. Okay? So, yun. And, um, and, uh, Just like what I've said before, make sure na nabasa nyo maigi yung kontrata ninyo para alam ninyo kung ano yung isasagot ninyo kapag tinanong kayo ng konsul. Alright? So, may, may mga chismis kasi doon sa, ano, sa Russian Embassy. Eh. Um, merong, uh, merong, before ha, before yun ha, merong konsul na masungit. Ano ba, Monday, yung, man, yung konsul ng Monday ay masungit o yung konsul ng Wednesday ay, mas, ay mabait, ganun. So, chichempohan nyo, tatimingan nyo kapag yung konsul ay mabait or masungit. Yan, di ba? So, parang alam na rin na rin, alam na rin nyo ng LO ninyo or ng liaison officer ninyo. Kasi, nung nagpa-process ako ng visa ko, meron akong um, liaison officer na binigay ng agency. Ayan. And by the way, dun pala sa binayaran ko sa agency, kasama na siya lahat. Yung, yung 20,000 pesos, kasama na dun yung visa fee ko. Ayan. Hindi pala siya separate. Ayan. So, parang ang binayaran ko lang is yung test da yung NBI, yung HIV, yung police clearance, yun yung mga binayaran ko, yung PIDOS, ayan. Ayan, tapos magsiseminar pa pala kayo sa OWA, kasama pa pala yun, yung seminar sa OWA, ayan. May nakakalimutan ko. And, um, another tip is, uh, kapag nagpa-process na kayo ng papers ninyo sa agency, um, kada punta ninyo and kada submit nyo ng paper ninyo, magpapirma kayo na na-receive nila yung documents na ipinasa ninyo. Ganyan. Kasi, um, kapag nagka, pag, pag nagka-trouble kayo, halimbawa, sinabi ng nag-receive, halimbawa, nagpasa kayo ng document, tapos, uh, hindi kayo nagpapirma, pwede kasing sabihin ng nasa agency na, hindi na, hindi ka nagpasa, wala kang pinasa, pwede ganon. At least, um, kapag may pinapirma kang slip, parang ganon, uh, or, or proof or evidence na, na may pinasa kang document sa kanila at pinirmahan, Okay, na nakalagay ang date at kung sinong pumirma, at least kung may problema man, meron kang proweba na nagpasa ka. Ayan. Uh, uh, um, uh, based on personal experience lang. Hindi personal experience, pero experience siya ng cousin ko. Ayan. Uh, kasi alam niyo na, uh, may mga agency na 
siguro sa dami ng aplikante nila parang uh, nag na parang nag nagmi-mix up na yung mga documents or na misplace nila or nawawala nila yung ibang mga documents na kailangan tapos pwedeng sabihin nila na hindi ka nagpasa or wala kang ipinasa ganun alright so yun pa para sigurado lang okay kasi mahirap mag-process ng paper sa Pilipinas alam niyo yan di ba okay so yun so yun na lang mga hihintay niyo and yun na lang yung mga kailangan ninyo. Alright? And during sa visa interview ninyo, uh, kung, kung, kung hindi naman illegal ang pagpasok ninyo, eh, be confident. ba? Diba? Answer with, uh, you know, answer honestly. Answer with, with your heart, with all honesty, with confidence na ganito yung magiging work mo, ganyan, nakastake naman sa kontrata ninyo, o binasa nyo namang maili yung nasa kontrata ninyo. Kasi ang tanong naman ng konsul, magbabase doon sa kontrata ninyo. Kaya, reviewin nyo maili yung contract mo na nakalagay. Okay? Alright, what else pa ba? Uh, okay, next naman, about naman dun sa, uh, kasi may mga nagtatanong about um, commercial visa or business visa. Alright? Uh, kasi hindi naman ganun yung visa ko. Alright. Um what uh kasi sabi ko nga ang commercial visa is uh, cheaper pero medyo komplikado kasi yung ganun. Alright. Um kasi pag sinabi mong business visa, ibig sabihin may bis may, may business ka. Ang pagpasok ang pagpasok mo dito sa Russia is business purposes, hindi working. Alright. And as far as I know, ang 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 um, duration na binibigay for visa is 1 year lang and kailangan mo siyang i-exit before 90 days. Ayan. So, kailangan pang parang pag 80 days na i-exit mo siya. It's either Israel or Armenia. Ayan. So, i-exit mo siya. Tapos, after nun, balik ka, balik ka ulit dito sa Russia. So, Ganun. And mostly na mga Filipinos na may commercial visa or business visa dito sa Russia is they really have to look like business woman, you know. Kailangan hindi ka naka hindi ka naka backpack lang kagaya ko um, minsan dal ang dala ko lang ay eco bag tapos naka sneakers lang ako ganyan. Pero yung mga mga mostly na na commercial visa dito, they really have to look like a business woman. They they they, they dressed up they they wear shoulder bags, they put on makeup, ganyan, you know. They 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 have to make those, you know, shiders. <laughs> yung mga pulis pang kalawakan dito na na sila ay business woman or the purpose of their visit is business. All right? So, yun. Um and by the way, um I want you to remember na for now, for now, ha, I think um uh, parang nag-stop yung process ng invitation uh, uh, according to my uh, according to to one of one of um, na nag na nag-watch ng video ko uh, pa, uh, uh, nagpalit daw ng hepe I think uh, na-confirm ko yun kasi yung, yung boss ko is na-promote Kasi he is working for immigration. So, I think, usually kasi ganun eh, kapag, may, kapag nagpapalit sila ng mga officers, nag i yung um, pag-process nila ng, ng invitation or ng pag-process ng mga visa, ganyan. Ganun, ganun dito sa Russia. Ayan. So, okay. So, I hope um, na-cover ko siya. Tapos, may nagtanong din sa akin, uh, may, nag, may nagsabi rin sa akin na um, sana magbigay ako at least ng approximate or range na pwedeng gastos eh ng, uh, ng isang aplikante. Uh, okay, kagaya ng mga sinabi ko sa previous videos ko, hindi ko talaga alam. Alright? But, um, base sa mga nagbe-message sa akin, Sinising, uh, sinisingil sila ng um, $3,000 or more. Okay? $3,000 or more. Ayan po. Okay? So, depend, again, depende po yan sa singil ng agent ninyo. Okay? And depende po yan sa package deal ninyo. Okay? And for me, okay, for me, if you have friends or if you have relatives here in Russia, it would be much better if they will find an employer for you, okay? And, and that employer will help you come here. 
that's the fastest and the safest way to come here to Russia. Okay. However, okay. Um, however, uh, medyo maiiba yung salary range mo. Okay? Kasi ganun yung nangyari sa akin eh. Yung, yung, yung cousin ko, nirefer ako kay Natalia Good. And then si Natalia Good, meron na siyang employer for me. And my employer, um, my employer paid everything. Okay? Except dun sa 20,000 pesos na bina binayad ko sa agency. Okay? Um, so, siya na yung bumili ng ticket ko, siya nagbuy ng invitation ko ng visa ko, lahat-lahat, alright? So, that's why my, um, my salary range is lower compared dun sa mga, sa mga, uh, walang, you know, yun, sa mga wala pang employers, tapos nagpa-process sila ng papers papunta dito. Ayun. So, um, I think after one year, mababawi mo na siya kasi ako after, uh, or, uh, kasi ako on my case after three months um, in increase yung salary ko after six months in increase ulit yung salary ko then another year in increase ulit yung salary ko depending on how you work if the employer likes you then uh, there's no reason for the employer to increase your salary okay um, kapag nagustuhan ka nila employers will just you know will just increase your salary depending depending how much they want it, you know. So, ayun, so, ganyan. Uh, it, it, it's, it's based on my experience lang, ha? but I, I suggest na if, if you have friends or relatives, I think, I think the best way to come here is, you know, they find, they find an employer for you, okay? So, ayun, and, um, yeah, I think, uh, na-cover ko naman lahat, ayan, um, except dun sa commercial visa or dun sa business visa, alright? Kasi nga, di ba, uh, dun, sa, uh, dun sa previous video ko, sinabi ko na um, may kota yung pag-release ng working visa, do may working visa naman. Kaya yung ibang mga, nag, mga hindi na, na hindi na aprubahan for working visa, no choice but to get commercial visa. And then, after my expire yung, uh, before they expire their commercial visa, they apply again for a working visa. Ganon. So, ayan. But anyway, I hope, I hope na nakatulong tong video na to sa inyo. Okay? And, um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I will really do my best to answer all of your queries, to all of your questions, to help you out. Alright? I wish I could really help you. I wish I could, you know, I wish, I, I wish I really could find an employer for you though yung employer ko naman is sooner or later will find um will find another worker but you know it, it's kind of complicated well <laughs> but anyway i hope i hope really I, I really hope i could do that for you mga kababayan because i know now we have this kind of thinking in the philippines that if you go abroad it's it's um, our life in the Philippines or yung buhay ng pamilya natin sa Pilipinas is magiging okay. Uh, well, mag magiging okay naman talaga based on my experience. Kasi nga yung salary range natin sa Pilipinas ay hindi ganoon kalaki ka unlike here. Alright? I'm telling you kap I'm telling you mga kababayan na mag spend kayo ng ng money to come here. Um mababawi nyo yun. Honestly, mababawi nyo agad yung nagasos ninyo. As long as na hindi kayo mapili sa trabaho, hindi kayo maarte, at magiging pasensya sa kayo, uh, and magiging maunawain kayo sa trabaho ninyo, lalong-lalo na sa employer ninyo. Kasi, alam nyo na magkaiba tayo ng kultura, magkaiba tayo ng thinking. Okay? So, uh, kapag nandito na kayo sa Russia tapos feeling ninyo hindi okay yung employer tapos nag-iisip kayo na umalis mag-isip kayong maigi <laughs> kasi maraming Pilipino maraming workers dito na nagahanap ng ibang trabaho alright and, I'm sorry next up siya um, yun nga and yet um, nagahanap kayo and yet naiisip ninyong umalis okay uh, you know uh, for me ha for me 
Um, better if you finish the two-year contract with your agent. Okay? Ang contract ninyo is with your agent, not with your employer. Alright? So, I suggest finish the contract and then kapag uh, kapag nakaipon na kayo kapag nakaipon na kayo then move to um then you can move find another employer okay that's my suggestion only okay based on my experience here all right but anyway i really have to go kasi i still have lots of things to do it's very late um i hope this video really uh, really help you um and uh, please like and share all right and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um it's mini badar all right and uh you can add me on my instagram it's mini underscore me or on my facebook account it's it's mini badar and uh, you can also email me i'll write it on my description box all right so thank you very much and uh soon meron akong ia announce very very soon so please so please wait for that watch out for that i just need to confirm something i just need to confirm it and then maybe it will work out ayan so thank you so much and uh, good luck sa lahat ng mga naga mag apply dito sa rasyo or kahit sa ang bansa so maraming maraming salamat po paka paka and god